Hi guys, we want to evaluate this three root. So first, we want to prove this formula to evaluate this. If we have root of a plus root of b, and then we square this, it will be root of a square plus 2 root of a multiplied with root of b plus root of b square Simply, uh, simplify this number it will be a plus b plus 2 and this multiplication will be under one root a b so this equal root of a plus root of b all square now we take square root of both side it will be root of a plus root of b and the square will gone with root and the left the right side will be a plus b plus 2 root a b so this we will use this formula if we have minus it will be there minus and here minus but if if, if it is minus we should take the absolute value because it will uh, there is possible will be negative so we will take the absolute value if it is minus if it is uh, positive uh, it is uh, always positive so we don't care so <coughs> We will go to our now. We will compare our three root with this formula. Now we want two uh, two root of something. So we will take four common factor it will be um, seven minus root of four times twelve plus and here we will take four common factor root of four times six and here we will take fourth common factor uh, it will be 3 minus root of 4 times 2 now this 4 will it will be minus four, square root of 4 it will be 2 times square root of 12 plus same with the second 2 root of 6 plus square root of 3 minus 2 root of 2 now we want to find two numbers the sum of two numbers 7 and the product of them 12 uh, I guess 4 and 3 so 4 and 3 here there is minus so we should care with absolute value and if it's uh, minus we put minus between them here also there is minus so we put the absolute value 6 so uh, the multiplication of two numbers is 6 and their sum is 
5 I guess uh, 6 and 1 no no 2 and 3 so square root of 2 square root of 3 plus also the third root with minus 2 and 3 2 and 3 2 and 1 2 and 1 sum of 2 and 1 3 and multiplication oh, oh. 2 so this with minus so we should reflect it will be root of 4 which is 2 minus root of 3 also this will be negative because root of 2 greater than uh, less than root of 3 so we reflect root of 3 minus root of 2 and the last one root of t 3 root of 2 minus 1 will be uh, positive so we keep it now we subtract minus root of 2 plus root of 2 minus root of 3 plus root of 3 so it will be 2 minus 1 so it will be just 1